Hello and welcome to your own channel that's Mudabir's Biology Color. Today our topic is homologous organs. In this uh, lecture we will try to understand what basically are homologous organs and how the homologous organs have developed. So uh, we will discuss homologous organs. Now the first question is what are homologous organs? For example, I will try to make you explain homologous organs by an example. We will draw a diagram over here. For example, we will draw human arm. In the human arm, we will focus upon the bones which, is pre which are present in the human arm. You might be knowing that the bone present in this upper arm is the it's like this it is humerus this is known as humerus then there is there are two bones like this these are radius and ulna then there are <coughs> these small bones we call them as corpalus then there are metacorpalus And similarly, <coughs> then there are phalanges. So this is the basic plan in human arm. So in human arm, we see in the upper arm, there is bone known as humerus. In the forearm, there are two bones known as radius and ulna. In the wrist, there are small bones known as carpalus. In the palm, there are bones known as metacarpalus and in our digitus there are small bones which we call as phalanges. So this is the basic structural plan or the structural design of the human arm. Now after that we will discuss the wing of the bird. In the wing of the bird you will see similarly there is a bone like this. This bone is humerus. Then there are two small bones. These are radius and ulna. Then there are corpalus. Then there are metacorpalus. And lastly, there are these are phalanges. This is the wing of bird. We can also draw the flipper of whale over here. We can also draw flipper of whale or we can also draw the four legs of all the mammals. They have the same basic structural plan. Now we say these organs do have the same structural and basic plan but their functions are different for example we will try to understand over here these wounds are present in the wing of the bird these are feathers attached with the wing so this is the wing of the bird and this is the arm in case of human beings now when we see the functions of these organs, the functions of these organs are totally different. The wing of the bird helps in flight and the arm of the human being has a different function. Similarly, you will see uh, the flipper of the whale has a totally different function. It helps the whale in swimming, but the same plan of bones is present in the flipper of the wheel also. 
Take the example of four legs of the horse. In the four legs of the horse, these bones are also present. And in all the four legs of the these uh, uh, these mammals, the same structure of the the same uh, sorry not structure the same design of the bones is present. Although there is little bit variation. In some animals, the bone may be a bit long. Uh, in some, it may be a bit short. But the plan is same. The bones are same. The humerus is there, radius is there, ulna is there, carpals, metacarpals, phalanges are there. So we say that on one side the function of human arm is different and on another side the function of the wing of bird is different and on another side the function of flipper of wheel and seal is different and on uh, other side the function of uh, four legs of the horse and other mammals are different. So these organs have totally different functions but their uh, basic plan and their basic embryonic uh, design and their basic structural design is same. These organs which do have the same basic structural plan and organization but do perform the different functions are known as homologous organs. So we say that organs which have the same structural plan and design but have totally different functions are known as the homologous organs. In the homologous organs, you can put forth the examples. Uh, for example, for, <laughs> for example, <laughs> the arm of human beings and the four legs of uh, horse, four legs of elephant, four legs of all other mammals, are the four legs of uh, uh, these uh, what we call as mammals and the bird of uh, and the wing of bird and the flipper of uh, this uh, whale and the flipper of seal all these organs have the same structural design but they perform varied functions and uh, these organs which do have the same structural plan but perform quite different functions are known as homologous organs but there are many other examples of the homologous organs in case of the plants also you will see the phyllode or phylloclad of rascus and opuntia Phyllode or phylloclad. In case of rascus and opuntia, so we say that the phyllode of uh, what we call as Rascus and Opuntia is what we call as homologous to the 